Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to day 12 of the holiday card series. Today I am featuring the Bear Tree stamp set from Trinity Stamps. There is a coordinating die for this as well. And I'm going to be making a clean and simple card today that is really easy to mass produce for the holidays but is full of cuteness. So to get started, I used my circle die just to figure out where I want my background focal panel to be. So this is one of my favorite techniques for a clean and simple card. I'm going to do some ink blending for my background. And I went ahead and cut a mask out of some cardstock with the die that I was using to figure out my placement for my little bear tree here. So went ahead and stamped that out with my Lawn Fawn ink, which is alcohol marker friendly. I will be Copic coloring this image today. And then I fussy cut out a mask and I will be using the mask here to protect my image before doing my ink blending. So I'm just making sure that I'm getting this lined up. I'll use some purple tape to ensure that the card panel that I'm using for the mask for my background is secured to the card panel itself. I'm bringing out my Distress Oxide inks in Evergreen Bow and Pine Needles. I thought this combination was perfect for Christmas and I wanted to give the illusion that the little bear tree is standing in front of a forest of trees. So I chose the green. I'm also going to be using a sentiment dye in red, so I thought these two colors obviously work well together for the traditional holiday card feel. So just blending those together using my Trinity blending brushes. All the products I use today will be listed below in the description box. Now that I have my background ink blended, I can go ahead and lift up my mask. I'm using my reverse tweezers here just to help me pick that up. It's a good idea to let the ink dry a little bit before pulling up your masks and I just don't worry about ruining my masks when I'm lifting them. If the paper rips it's fine. I would rather the mask rip than the uh, paper underneath. So now you can see I have my little image stamped out here and I'm going ahead and I'm coloring my little bear in some darker brown colors. For my bear, I'm using E27 as my darkest color, the E25 as my midtone, and the E25 as the lightest. Just adding the darkest shadows around his nose, a little bit on the ears, underneath his head, where his head would cast a shadow on his arms, where his fingers are kind of wrapped around those little branches and then where his two legs are touching on the inside. Once I get that darkest marker laid down I can go ahead and blend that out with my midtone, and then I'm going to blend out all of those colors using the lightest which is my E25. This color combination gives a perfect blend and I think it just gives a nice color for a little brown bear. So for his face his nose part going up to his eyes and his belly. I decided to use a little bit of a lighter color. I did feel like I needed to darken up those shadows a little bit once I colored his body. So I just went back in with the darkest marker and didn't really blend that out too much. And I love the way that that gives just an extra depth to the darkest shadow. So for the lightest colors, I'm using E35, E34, and E31. This is one of my favorite light brown color combinations. I use it a lot. To keep consistency, I decided to color the branches of the um, little twigs here in the same color. And I did have to look up what color a partridge is. And they're sort of a grayish light brown color very muted in color. So I chose the E44 and the um, other marker there, sorry, that went a bit quick while I was talking, but it is on screen there for you to see. For the greens, I used YG03 and YG01, just a quick two color blend here. I did feel like I needed a little bit more of a darker shadow, so I did bring in the G19. And I'm placing that around the branches where uh, my masking didn't quite touch the image line so that there was a bit of 
areas left with the ink blending that I needed to fix up. So that G19 was the closest marker I had to the color of the background. For the sentiment at the top of the circle, I'm curving the sentiment, a partridge in a bear tree to the top. I just thought that that should be the focal point of the sentiment for this card so that people got the cute little pun here or play on words with our little bear and partridge. So I'm just stamping that out with my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And then I am going to add the Merry Sentiment dies here. I cut that out of some red glitter cardstock. I thought I wanted to have the Merry Christmas on the front of the card, but decided that having the Christmas there was a little bit too much for this clean and simple card. So I went ahead and placed the Merry on the front, and then I'm going to finish off the inside of my card with the Christmas die. And I love how that just gives a nice pop of red for this card, seeing it's fairly muted with all the browns for the little bear and the partridge. So this card is super quick to make, great for mass producing on um, busy days when we're trying to get ready for the holidays. I'd love to know if you like making clean and simple cards and are you all about mass producing for the holidays or do you like to create elaborate Christmas cards? To finish off the card, I'm bringing in my Nouveau drops here in red berry and just adding some berries to the tree. I wanted to be, I wanted to have a little bit of pop of color matching that red in the Mary. And to finish off, I'm bringing in my black glaze pen here for the nose. And you'll see when I show you the uh, card photos at the end here, I ended up bringing in my white gel pen as well and adding just a little highlight on his nose. I brought in my Nouveau Glaze and added some shiny embossing with that. Well, it's not really embossing, but that glazed look on his nose. And that's the card for today. So here's another holiday video for you. Thanks so much for joining me today. And please don't forget to check out Trinity Stamps. All the links are below, as I said. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you really soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.